All right, here's something very interesting. Piece of metal here. Now, often reptiles and snakes will sort of hide underneath it. They don't mind the heat. This is prime temperatures for them. And I'm just going to peek under there and see if I see something first. I just want to keep a respectful distance. Something's moving under there. And uh, I hear something hissing. Let me just take this stick and see what we see. I just got to stay here good enough distance in case something, I can hear something hissing under there, so it's probably pretty big. Okay. Ooh, I hear something very angry under there. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, check this out. This is a king brown. Now, just to give you an idea what a king brown is, it's the largest land snake in Australia, and it's also highly venomous. Now this kind of guy has the most toxins per bite of any snake in Australia. And if I were to get bitten by him, uh, in all likelihood I could lose a limb because the neurotoxins they release. They also prey upon other snakes and they're immune to the bites of other snakes. So it makes this guy a highly competitive guy. I just want to see if I can get an idea on the size of him. I have sort of a soft branch here so he doesn't feel sharp barbs and I just want to get an idea of what kind of size he is. Can we see him coil right there? Okay, let's see, let's see if we get some size idea. Uh, he's not wanting any. Let's see if I can. You know there's a uh, famous saying let sleeping dogs lie. And this uh, brown king is a little bigger than I, uh, I'm equipped to handle right now. So I'm gonna keep moving and look for that north adder. This, my friends, is a death adder. And one of the ways I can tell is the eyes in its head are sticking up a little further than normal. And the reason why is it lays under leaves like this, sometimes for days, waiting for a lizard, toad or a small animal to come over and it's a very fast striker it's got huge fangs it's also an incredibly toxic venomous snake now i'm gonna see if i can give you a little better look and just take these sticks and keep my hands very far away uh, another interesting feature of this particular snake and this does look like a female is that it gives birth to live snakes upwards of 30 very milky eyes, and that's an indication that she's about to slip her skin. Some of the most dangerous creatures are now viewed as key elements in saving lives. One of these is our friend the Death Adder. This creature is essential in producing life-saving anti-venom. To create a single dose of anti-venom, literally hundreds of milkings need to take place. The problem is Death Adder venom remains in short supply. Just finding one of these creatures was hard enough, and knowing our discovery will contribute to science and possibly help save a life is exactly why I continue to do this. Man. You'll have to excuse me if I'm uh, sweating a little bit. This has been one crazy trip in Australia. We've eaten green ants, we've seen insects that bite, we've seen snakes that don't bite, and those who do bite that aren't venomous. And of course, we've seen the very venomous. And this particular snake, the Death Adder, is really the queen of them all. She may hold the answer to a lot of diseases. Researchers right now are looking to see if she, her toxins, have a possible cure for cancer. Well, I think that's my cue to leave. It's amazing something so deadly can actually save lives. Stick around.